I'm Jen Singer, and this is my party. <laughs> and I am so glad that all of you are here. Uh, we're in for a very, very exciting night. Um, after I uh, give my speech, if cancer is a gift, where can I return it? Um, before that, we're going to hear from Chris Menchner at the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And later on, the Flying Mother Brothers can play. They're my cousins, by the way. So I'm really cool. And later on, the Sugar Hill Gang is going to be here. Two years ago, I was diagnosed with stage 3 non Hodgkin's lymphoma. I had a tumor the size of a softball in my lung. And uh, there are, I'm here today. <laughs> to celebrate two years in remission. This Monday is actually two years. Thank you. Two years for this particular type of cancer. It's aggressive B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a, a fancy way of saying I had a big, fast-moving, growing tumor in my body. Um, it's most likely to come back in the first two years. So that's why this is such a, a huge accomplishment to make the two years, and I'm so glad I could celebrate with you guys. This all came about because in July, I was out to dinner with my husband, Pete, and I said, you know, if I make it through my PET scan in September, the, last, um, first, the first year I had to have PET scans every quarter, and this year I had to have them every four months, and I knew that if I made it through the September PET, PET scan clean, that I would make it to two years in remission. And so we were out to dinner and I said, you know, it would be really cool if we had like a party. But I want to have a party and I want to give back to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society at the same time. And so I didn't tell people I was doing this because I was afraid I was going to jinx my PET scan in September. I kind of quietly put money down in the inn in August. I bought this dress in August. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks to Cheryl Coots, she's my personal trainer. Um, and then I, I kind of mentioned it to my cousins around Labor Day, and then Ed said he could bring the Sugar Hill Gang. So then when it came back clear, I knew I was going to do it, we spent the last six weeks throwing this together. So thank you for everybody for that. Jenny thanked me, but I think all the thanks are in order from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society to you. Jen has been an amazing supporter of LLS since I've known her over the past few years, and I look forward to a very productive and supportive partnership going forward, so thank you so much. Uh, as Jen mentioned, my name is Chris Menchner. I work for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and I have the honor of working with people like Jen every day. I just want to tell you a little bit about our work. We're the, the world's largest voluntary health agency dedicated to funding blood cancer research. Since our inception in 1949, we funded over $700 million in research, and this year we have committed over $70 million. We have 68 chapters covering the entire United States, including Puerto Rico and parts of Canada as well. We provide financial assistance, support groups, peer counseling, information and referral service for patients, family members, and really anyone who's been touched by blood cancer. We've made so much progress over the years, uh, to give you an example, probably one of our most shining examples of success, when LLS first started in 1949, the, rate, the survival rates for pediatric leukemia, which is so prevalent in children 1 to 7, were down to around 30%. So if you were a parent of a child back then and your child was diagnosed, imagine getting that news from the doctor. We're proud to say through our research funding over the last 50 years or so, survival rates for pediatric leukemia is up over 90% at this point in time. 
Another great example of our, of our success over the years is the development of a drug called Gleevec. Um, there's a certain type of leukemia called chronic melogenous leukemia, um, where people would basically be diagnosed and they'd be forced to have aggressive chemotherapy with all the side effects of chemotherapy that we're all pretty familiar with. Uh, we funded a researcher named Dr. Brian Drucker. He developed a drug called Gleevec, which basically is an orally administered therapy for this disease. And people literally went from one week having aggressive chemotherapy, all those nasty side effects, having to spend time in the hospital overnight away from their families, taking this pill, and they're able to go back to work in a matter of weeks. They're able to spend time with their families, and it's just a really amazing example of the importance of our research funding. There are about 900,000 people in the United States with blood cancers. Obviously a lot of people, a great impact on families and people's lives all over the place. But compared to other diseases, it's a relatively small patient population. So unfortunately, pharmaceutical companies, honestly and frankly, don't fund our research that much. Uh, they help out here and there, but they really don't fund it as much as they fund for other diseases. So that's where people like you come in. We rely so much on the support of our donors, our individual family foundations, and I just can't thank you enough for being here tonight because it really makes our research possible and literally saves lives. So thank you again so much for being here, and thank you again, Jen, for having us and, and putting this together. And that's it. That was Kiss Cancer Goodbye fundraiser and remission party. I hope that you'll support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and that you'll continue to visit mamasaid.net for laughs and validation. Thanks.